Roblox just allowed swearing in chats and it's pretty crazy. Roche just had a huge announcement and more wild news today. So if you're new, please subscribe and let's get right into it. Alright, firstly, let's start with Roblox allowing swearing in chats now, which is pretty insane. And from what I'm seeing, you're allowed to basically say any words now, like no filter at all. So Blocks News here today was saying that Roll so soon, I don't know why they trademarked that, but whatever, allow you to privately message friends via the chat window without text filters if you meet age requirements and have a phone number attached to your account. So yeah, that's the big but here. This is not just going to be for anyone or every, any user. You're going to have to have not only a verified age, which I'm assuming is going to be 13 or 18 and up, and then also a phone number attached, which is kind of crazy. But also with that being said, this actually allows more swearing from what I've seen than how regular chats are. Like as you can see in the screenshot here, these are the F words straight up. You know, you're allowed to say that now whereas before even with like the 18 plus swear filter in games it would still be a bit you know iffy and you weren't allowed to say some words but from what i'm seeing here you can basically say anything now when chatting to friends which even though the requirements are kind of dumb this is pretty insane for roblox and this is the most you know flexible i've seen them be in a while now with that being said just to clarify this is only in the chats meaning you know when you're messaging another player and your friends i'm pretty sure you only do it through friends this is not going to be in like the roblox game chat or anything like that just to clarify that and also to clarify both people have to have these requirements so if you have the requirements and your friend doesn't you can't use like the swearing it will still get blocked but if you and your friend both have the requirements of the age verified and the phone number then you can go ahead and swear on whatever which honestly is pretty insane but with that being said as cool as this is i think because of the requirements it kind of deems it useless i like i understand why rolls is doing here like it makes sense you should be able to say whatever when talking to your friends even with the lifted chat filter due to like the insane requirements you know most people don't want to verify their age or add a phone number a lot of people are probably still gonna end using third party apps like would you rather message people on roblox or just use something like discord where you have no restrictions and you don't have to do any verification or anything like that you know what i mean like i feel like rollers try so hard to get people to stay on the platform which makes sense you know their company they had like the whole gilda thing where they bought a discord clone they're now lifting a chat filter but i still feel like even after all of that a lot of it seems kind of useless in the end of the day just because the ads want restrictions behind it which makes sense you know they obviously don't want kids swearing like crazy and that opens up more problems but i feel like the requirement should be a bit easier here just because i don't think most people are going to go out their way to verify their phone number or age and whatever add their phone number just to swear between their friends because also with that being said correct me if i'm wrong here but i feel like the chats are kind of useless nowadays like i feel like i don't see much people using the chat much anymore i feel like it was the best when it had the party feature which you got rid of obviously so i don't know what do you guys think about all this? On one hand, I think it's kind of cool, and it's cool that Rolls is being more flexible, but on the other hand, I think the requirements kind of ruin it. I don't know, let me know what you think. In general, just kind of crazy to see though, because this is like the most flexible we've seen the chat filter. It's you're completely gone. You can say whatever you want. But anyways, with that being said, our next story of everyone hating on a Roblox game right now, and it's pretty insane what's going on here. Okay, so if you guys remember, like a few days ago or so now, a massive like Netflix type event got leaked on Roblox, and we've obviously seen, you know, Netflix and shows join Rolls before, but the reason this one was more hype and bigger than usual was just because that Netflix actually partnered with Roblox to make one big game where they add a bunch of shows at once. And it's all going to be in like one hub with a bunch of different games. So today they launch a game and it's fully out right now and it came with a bunch of insane collabs, official collabs. I know like Stranger Things is back on Roblox with a new game, One Piece being the biggest ones back and a bunch more. And with that being said, like I mentioned, one of the biggest collabs with this is One Piece because the literal biggest game on Roblox, Blox Fruits, is inspired by One Piece. So a lot of people were kind of concerned for Blox Fruits when One Piece joined Roblox officially for a number of reasons. Number one, one, we've seen animes join roblox before and literally take down popular games that are similar which i think blocks fruits was kind of clear of because i think they had issues in the past but they fixed it but then on the other hand a lot of people were also concerned just player wise because they thought that blocks fruits might have some big competition now because a lot of people might prefer playing the actual game and now that's all now we kind of got our answer and it's kind of maybe what you expected because everyone seems to hate the new one piece game as we can see here this person just tweeted out saying that is it really that bad and as we can see here the game has been out i mean it is in beta to be fair but already people hate it it's a 34 percent like ratio and it's probably worse by the time i upload this video and in general a lot of people just seem to hate it and if you read the comments everyone's just saying like the game is really that bad and it's just not as good which is pretty insane not only for the fact that the game is just that bad you know a lot of people are very excited for it but it's also crazy to me that an unofficial one piece game did better than the actual one piece game you know that's pretty crazy to see like blocks did the one piece thing so well that when one piece themselves joined roblox they couldn't even compete with like you know the person who copied the game and i mean fair enough to blocks roots they're doing good right now and and they honestly have no worry about competition as we can see here so it's very good for them and in general the collab just seems off to a really bad start in general but anyways with that being said our next story of roblox once again doing something pretty dumb that everyone's angry at them for so lucas here tweeted us saying that had a century that a record high of 85 robux plays for meaning that all hats now have a minimum of 85 robux it cannot be cheaper than that 
which is pretty awful. And over these past few months, we've seen it raise from super low to now 85 minimum, which is just wild. I know you can buy like 80 Robux for a dollar or something like that. So every hat now is like a dollar minimum, which is insane. And if you guys remember, it's going to keep going like this and keep getting more expensive probably. Not just hats, but items in general, because this is a new dynamic Roblox system and dynamic price for system, which if you guys aren't aware what that is, basically, if a category of an item is in demand and a lot of people are buying it, that entire category goes up in price. So for example, as we can see here, a lot of people have been buying hats. So all hats are now a higher floor price and that works for every other item. And I mentioned this last time, but this update is already pretty bad, but it's even worse when you think about it because of public UGC. Now there's so much more items out there and so much more selection that it's kind of guaranteed that stuff is going to keep getting more expensive because there's just so much stuff to buy, so much more stuff to buy, you know what I mean? And it's pretty horrible what's going on right now and everyone's pretty angry at Roblox just because it's kind of crazy how expensive stuff is now. And hats are literally one of the most like sought after things people get, you know, just in general. So it sucks to see them get so expensive now. But anyways, the Benny says our next story of Roblox just announcing something huge. Okay, so if you guys remember, like a few days ago, we got some insane leaks in the Roblox community. Literally some of the biggest ones we've ever seen. If you guys don't remember what the leaks were, basically it got leaked that Rose is going to bring back a classic Roblox event, which is already insane, but the leaks showed stuff like the old Roblox logo, ticks, and it basically showed that we're also gonna do another hunt edition as we expected, but this time the theme is gonna be classic Roblox. And they kind of brought back the whole vibe of classic roles, it seemed like. Now, here's the thing those leaks are super hype in the community, and I even made a video on it being super excited, and everyone got super excited. But at the time, I was kind of scared to upload that video and talk about it because it wasn't 100% confirmed. However, from what I was hearing and from other sources, it seemed like it was kind of confirmed, but nothing is truly confirmed until Roblox himself something. And luckily, thank God this is real because the owner of Roblox and Rolls themselves basically confirmed it today, which is such a good sign. Let me show you what happened. David Wazuki here tweeted us saying that literally around the time this was all going on, we're excited by the response and feedback for the hunt event. We're experimenting with the slew of new event and formats for the future. In unrelated news, I'm enjoying a replay of the first game I built on Roblox. So yeah, he didn't directly mention it, but you're telling me, you know, after all this time, he randomly just tweeted out like an old Roblox game, which I'm pretty sure this old Roblox map was like the background of one of the leaks, I'm pretty sure, which kind of confirmed it. And this tweet blew up in the community, as you guys can see. It has like a million views, which I think just shows you how much people are excited for this event, which, and it didn't even get like a proper trailer or anything yet, but this just kind of confirms it. So everyone's very excited right now. Like if you read the comments, Greek Fear, for example, just saying, I'm crying, it's so beautiful, and this is the greatest day of my life. And yeah, I mean, you can see my reply here too. That's exactly how I feel. And then on top of all that, just to kind of confirm 90 million percent this is happening, Rose Cole retweeted it with just the eyes emoji, once again showing that we're definitely getting this event sometime soon, which is honestly so insane, and this event has so much potential. Now with that being said, I know it is a bit disappointing that it's going to be another haunt event, but I think that it might be a little bit too early to judge, because if you guys remember, as you guys seen, Rose has been asking feedback continuously. They did like a tweet about it, I'm pretty sure they sent a service to developers asking about it, so they genuinely are asking for feedback and taking feedback for the next event, being this one probably. So I really hope that they took in all the feedback and apply it here because this theme has so much potential and this might be one of the best events we got if they do it properly, you know what I mean? People have been begging Roblox for years to bring back old Roblox or like an aspect of old Roblox and they're literally doing it, you know, like it's confirmed now but now it's all up to the execution. Like it's one thing bringing back old Roblox, like the event will be good no matter what I feel like because just the theme but if it's actually a good event at the end of the day, I think it actually has potential to be one of the best events we've gotten, like in general, of all of Roblox, I'm not even kidding. But with that being said, if you enjoyed, check the video to find out why Rolls might be bringing back ticks and some other insane news, and I'll see you in the next one.